Yep. Ready? Samuel Gill for Riders Hub here again with head coach Rob Pan Nostro for another one of the weekly catch-ups. Uh, an indifferent weekend for you, Rob, of course. A win on Friday in overtime, which is brilliant, and then a defeat on Sunday, losing your streak. Uh, what did you make of the weekend? Two competitive, uh, great, great games. Uh, mm. You know, wild finishes and why, uh, you know, basketball is such a great game to watch. I think anyone that watched those two games uh, will, will want to watch more because mm. uh, those had uh, fans at their, in their edge of their seat. Um, you know, when you look at Friday, I thought um, you know it was a good hard-fought game. I thought that you know uh, third quarter we took control, and then fourth we were in control for most of it. But they came all the way back and flipped it on us, and they were in control with about a minute and a half to go. But uh, you know, credit our guys. You know, we were fortunate they missed a couple free throws, and our guys made the plays we needed. Uh, the Anderson layup, uh, Nelson Henry layup, and then obviously the Corey three-point shot yeah. that Gino gave a great pass. Always a, a great way to win when you win like that. Felt good, uh, and then we knew going into Sunday it was going to be challenging. Yeah. Um, you know, guys are down. You know, with, with some injuries, you know, not 100%. Both teams, so it was going to be a dogfight. And I thought that um, you know, uh, for the most part, it was going back and forth. Good. We had a, a lull there in the, in the third quarter that hurt us, and then losing Gino to to the you know foul. He got a foul called on him, and then the, the technical which which fouled him out. That was. That was a blow. He was playing good. He had 20 points at that point, um, but um, nobody quit. And I think that's what I love about our team is, uh, you know, we, we went down fighting, and Connor did a great job of, of getting us back in it. We actually had the free throws in, in, in regulation with Nelson Henry. He split a pair, mm. and we make those two. We put ourselves in position to win it. Uh, but then even in overtime, you know, Connor makes the layup uh, to tie it. Uh, but uh, give them credit. They ran a, a good play. and. And Kimball, who played well, hit yeah. the floater. So, uh, yeah, it was a heck of a game. It was tough to lose. Um, but, um, you know, uh, we were right there. So, yeah, I like the way the guys are playing. I think this week's important. We only have one game on Friday. So, you know, we're able to get in here a little bit and compete. Yeah. I think over the last couple of weeks, you know, with the injuries that we've had, we haven't had, you know, the greatest of practices mm. because of bodies and stuff. But today, you know, I was really happy with getting the guys back out on the floor, getting Mustafa. Uh, Heron uh, on the floor with the guys, and it was good competitive practice. Today. Fourteen and two, still it's still a competitive lead in the uh, in, in the British Basketball League. Uh, it, it must be about kind of kind of get, getting that win, getting that defeat aside, and and going again this weekend against Cheshire. Well, look, man, there's uh, you know fourteen games to go in the league, so yeah. it's a long way to go. Almost half Indeed, yeah. of the games left. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, who knows, uh, you know uh, what's going to happen? But what I do know is when you look up and down the table. There's a lot of teams making a lot of noise. And I don't think that um, you know you go into any game feeling any different than any other because everyone's beating everybody yeah. else, and it comes down to the night. How do you play on that night? You know who's healthy. You know obviously injuries uh, can play a big part, but um, should be a competitive run in Cheshire, a good team we're playing next. Yeah. Uh, that um, has a good roster. You look mm. at the talent on their roster, you can see why they've had some good results. Um, in the past few weeks, but um, yeah, we're looking forward to it. And I think uh, you know, anytime you're a basketball player, when you hit March, you know that um, you know you're getting closer and closer mm. to that business end of the season, and it's an exciting time for all of us. We end up saying, of course, about Mustafa Heron joining. What 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 does he add to the team? And uh, of course, it, mu it mu must be a shame to lose Zach Jackson so far into the season. Yeah, so Zach was uh, you know a great teammate, mm. uh, good good player versatile player. Yeah. Uh, he was struggling with a, with a foot and you know, found out he needed surgery, but he gave us so much and we really loved the way he played and we were going to miss him. Uh, but we had to turn it around pretty quickly because of the deadline and Mustafa's a guy that I've known for a long time. He's from my hometown yep. um, and he has a ton of talent. Uh, it's been a while for him to be in competitive basketball in a year and he arrived here and had two games in three yeah. days. So I uh, only arrived on Thursday, two days and four days maybe. I only arrived on Thursday and we were really impressed with his uh, conditioning and his strength to be able to you know, play in both games. Now we need him to you know, uh, learn a little bit more about us, get a little bit more rhythm with his teammates. Uh, we expect him to be a really good player. Uh, the guy can do a lot of different things and is versatile, which should, which should you know, benefit uh, us in, in many ways. Yeah, I was going to say, how, how, is, how is he kind of gelled in so far? Of course, like you say, two games coming off the plane, uh, playing straight away. But how has he gelled in in practice this week so far? Oh, great. Yeah. yeah. I mean, he's. Uh, wonderful kid you know uh, that's the one thing I've been mm. you know following his career for a long time and I knew he was a really good player on the court but uh, the amount of people uh, that I know personally who have uh, told me so many great things about him they were right uh, you know 
so far. He's been a joy to work with, and um, he's a guy that wants to win games for us. You can see that. He has a hunger and a competitiveness. So, yeah, it should be fun, uh, you know, watching him play over the next few weeks. We end up saying, of course, about Ch Cheshire Phoenix this, this weekend. What are you making of that tie going into this weekend? Yeah, they're good. I mean, when you look at them, they have quick guards, uh, McCall and Ross. McCall, mm. you know, he's tough. He played in the league for a while. Ross has had an excellent year. I was yeah, very yeah, sure. impressed by him, uh, watching him on film, watching him live. They added Matthew Bryan and Manning. Mm. Uh, so, so they have uh, Jimbo Lowe and Matthew Bryan and Manning uh, inside, which yeah, is a, a big tough pairing, combination. Yeah. Um, and then they have some really good role players that are doing good things. Also, Jalen Hayes, who's been an excellent player in this league. So Coach Thomas has got a good team to work with, and it's no surprise that they've um, had some good wins in the past few weeks. Thank you very much for your time, Rob. Thanks. Cheers.